Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters, sons and daughters of liberty, knights of freedom. Welcome to another great segment of walking, of Terry walking on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath. And yes, you're listening to the voice of Dr. Mr. Benjamin Franklin here, and I am stepping in because every now and then Terry has to reach to the Founding Fathers for our help because you, his fellow Americans, are not awake and they are not vigilant and they are not fighting for their freedoms like Terry has been for the last six years he has walked 9,400 miles after today's great patriotic march on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath yes 9,400 miles that's an amazing feat by a great man and uh, no he doesn't like himself too well uh, I think he loves himself because he calls himself a great man, but he's very proud. His one saying is, be brave, be strong, stand tall, walk proud, and most of all, talk loud because the freedom of speech is the greatest weapon that you have that we founding fathers gave to you. And he, and another one of his quotes is, Dr. Savage, this is pointed towards you since you're saying you're kind of been a hypocrite lately saying uh, Why are you talking about the founding fathers? What the heck's wrong with you? And this comes from the same guy Michael Savage who started the Paul Revere Society. So Stop being a hypocrite. But anyways Terry said in 2006 in one of his first blogs when he started walking the blueprint for success against tyranny anywhere in this world is what the founding fathers of the United States of America did. So if you would follow the blueprint of us great founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, I can just go right down the list. You will be successful against any tyranny that strikes this world because we stood tall we were brave we were strong we walked proud and most of all we used the freedom of speech and told the king of England that yes we gave the middle finger back then too and I bet you didn't know Ben Franklin was a Pittsburgh Steeler fan <laughs> but anyways I just wanted to come, every now and then I'm going to come out of retirement from uh, the other side and bring you some great words. But Terry wanted me to read this. Now check this out. Uh, words from the beehive. Yes. I am very discouraged to find out from the other side that the bees of the world are dying. And Terry has been trying to wake you up to this fact. And so he came up with this great rhyme to help you. Words from the beehive to keep us alive. So you have a cell phone. Can it and save the planet. Go back in time and get a landline. Just a simple peaceful way to win a peaceful revolution against the insane clowns that run your town. If you really do care about your saving your children, remember this is Terry Ronzia speaking, I'm just delivering the message because he needs my help, Benjamin Franklin here. If you really do care about saving your children and their liberty, there it is, as easy as pumpkin pie. I made him change it from apple pie to pumpkin pie because it's easier to make an apple pie than a, I mean a pumpkin pie than an apple pie. And Terry listened to Ben Franklin just like Thomas Jefferson used to do. But anyways, 
There it is, as easy as pumpkin pie, breaking the chains of control step by step, and at the same time, saving the bees. My dear fellow people of the world, without the bees, there can be no food. What the hell's wrong with you? But anyways, let me finish what Terry said. All right, now remember, this is a blog. And have you ever seen the movie Soylent Green? That's the title of this video. People! Soylent Green is people! Yes, I watched that from the other side. I love that movie. I watch it all the time. And it warns you this message. And right now, like this blog you're going to go to, uh, the video that he, I mean the blog about I threw away from, I... I'm cell phone. Here's here's what the blog's called. I'm cell phone and Wi-Fi free to save the honeybee. And that's the blog you're gonna go to after you watch this because Terry always puts together a great blog on his website. So I'm gonna finish this now. Step by step. Okay. The ch breaking the chains of control. Step by step, and at the same time saving the honeybee. Time to get this boycott revolution started, baby, by going back to our future. That was a great movie, too. Liberty and freedom by going back to our future. Liberty and freedom. The new Boston Tea Party is dumping our cell phones and our Wi-Fi into the harbor of our past. This has been Benjamin Franklin delivering you another great message from a great modern day founding father. Yes, you have to become the new founding fathers, my friends. Wake up! If the bees die, you're dead! Benjamin Franklin out! Pass Terry's videos to your friends. Pass his websites to your friends. Time is ticking. You will soon be like that. I watched this movie too from the other side. That movie, The Time Machine and the Morlocks. Yes, he says that even on this blog. And he puts it in great pictures. Soylent Green is people. I mean, these people who control the world now, these damn Jesuits, these damn elite, Illuminati, whatever you want to fucking call them, they're assholes. And they want to bring humanity, they want to bring humanity down to the lowest form of existence. And that's cannibalism, my friends. Wake up. Benjamin Franklin reporting. See you next time I come out of retirement. Have a great day. And keep fighting for freedom! Wait, Benjamin Franklin got to do it again. Ben Franklin yelling freedom. Freedom! A little bit like William Wallace, huh? I watched that too. I love that movie. I love William Wallace. Have a great day in the world and keep fighting for it. Liberty or death.